For years, iPhone users have been waiting for the day that we could finally use custom SMS tones on our phone without having to hack and or jailbreak our phone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use your own custom text tones or ringtones with your iPhone without having to jailbreak. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so with the recent edition of iOS 5 just being released, they've added a new feature where you can go ahead and buy your own text tones. So if you go here into settings, you should see that there's an option to go ahead and buy more SMS tones. And so, if, you're, if they're allowing you to buy your own custom tones, why shouldn't you be able to make your own? So what you need to do is you just need to make your own tone like you would normally, and then follow the steps that I'm about to teach you right now. So I made a video on this quite a while ago, but that was showing you how to do this with your own custom ringtones, but now the same method works for your own custom SMS tones. So if you want to watch the previous video that I made before on custom ringtones, feel free to go ahead and click the link somewhere around in this general region. And anyway, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom SMS tone work on your iPhone without having to jailbreak. So let's go ahead and cut over to the screen. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to have the mp3 or WAV file that you want to use as your custom text tone ready to go and make sure you know where it is. For this video I'm going to be using the tone Oh My God It's So Juicy, which if you, you guys probably don't know is a King of the Hill reference. Oh my god, it's so juicy! Yo. Yeah, and so anyway, that's what I'm going to be using as my custom SMS tone. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open that up with iTunes, as you can see here. Oh my god, it's so juicy. And we open it up, here it is. So the first thing you want to do once that's done is you want to go up to iTunes, go to Preferences, and then you want to go here to Import Settings, and make sure that it's set on AAC Encoder, just for future references. And then ne the next thing you want to do is you want to select your SMS tone and go up to Advanced, and then go to Create AAC Version. And then once that's done, it should go ahead and create a new version of it, as you can see right here. If you want to make sure it's the AAC version, you just want to right click on it and go to get info. And as you can see here, it is an AAC audio file, which is what we want to use. So the next thing you want to do is you want to right click on it again and you want to go to show in finder. And if you're on Windows, there should be a similar option for like show in explore or whatever. And as you can see here, it'll select to, oh my God, it's so juicy. And then it should be the extension .m4a. So once that's done, just go ahead and go back to iTunes and you want to go ahead and you want to delete the AAC version. You want to click remove, but you want to make sure you keep the file. And then once that's done, go back to your uh, file over here and you want to right click on it and go to get info. And then you want to go ahead and change the extension from .m4a to .m4r. Go ahead and click enter and go to use m4r. And then once that's done, you just want to go ahead and double click on the file once again. Oh my god, it's so juicy! Yeah. And it'll play, and then you can go here to ringtones, and as you can see here, it'll say, Oh my god, it's so juicy 1, which is the one that we were using, because I already tested this out, and this is the one that I tested it out on. And then once that's done, it should be here in your ringtone section, and then just go over to your phone, and then go ahead and sync it up. And if you guys want to make sure, go over here to ringtones, and I only have it set to sync all ringtones, as you can see here, I already have so many. But you can select whatever ringtones you want to. Then once that's done, all you need to do is go to settings on your phone, and then go over to sounds and SMS tones, and then go ahead and select your text tone, and then that's pretty much it. All right, so that's how to do it. That's how you can go ahead and make your own custom SMS tones work on your iPhone. You don't have to be jailbroken to do this, as I said before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And if you guys want to watch the video that I made a while ago telling you about how to do this but with ringtones, feel free to go ahead and click the annotation somewhere around here or in the link in the video's description. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you have anything else you want to see, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.